What if the real reason we're getting sicker with obesity and diabetes isn't just about how much we eat, but what's living inside our gut? Could something so small be sabotaging our weight, our health, and our happiness? Hey, I'm Dave Knapp. I run On The Pen. It's a platform where we explore the world of GLP-1 medications, obesity, and metabolic health. But today, we're here to talk about something deeper, something personal, something that goes beyond the simple, hey, just eat less, move more, that's the advice we've all heard a thousand times. And if you've ever been criticized for your weight, felt frustrated that you can't seem to lose the extra pounds, or been told it's just all about your own self-discipline or lack thereof, you are not alone. I've been there. Thousands, hundreds of thousands from the On The Pin community have been there as well, and it is exhausting. But what if the real culprit wasn't just your willpower, but something far more complicated happening inside your gut? Something so small yet so powerful, it could be tipping the scales in ways that you never realized or even imagined. Let's talk about something critical, nutrient-stimulated hormones. These are the hormones that your body naturally produces to regulate your appetite, your digestion, and insulin response. One of the most important of these is called GLP-1. This hormone helps you feel full. It regulates your blood sugars. It keeps everything metabolically in balance. But here's the problem. DPP-4 is an enzyme. It breaks down GLP-1s and similar nutrient-stimulated hormones far too quickly in people with type 2 diabetes. This means your body's natural weight-regulating system is constantly working against you. It makes it harder to manage your appetite, your blood sugar. In other words, you could be eating the same foods as somebody right next to you, but your body isn't going to see the food the same way or send the same signals to stop eating as quickly. For so many people struggling with weight and diabetes, it's not just about overeating or lack of discipline. It's about hormonal dysregulation. That's literally built into your body. This is why GLP-1 mimicking drugs like Ozempic and Manjaro are changing the game for people. They mimic the effects of GLP-1 directly by bypassing all these issues caused by DPP-4 and helping your body get back to a more natural state of balance. So let's break it all down. If we look deeper, what are some of the key factors that could be playing a huge role in why some of us, many of us, are struggling with this hormonal imbalance? Here's what I personally think is going on, and this is my own opinion here, but the food that we eat today isn't the same as it was 30, 40, 50 years ago. We've all seen those pictures of the beach in the 1960s and then fast forward to 2025. There is an obvious and massive uptick in people living with overweight and obesity. What's different? Highly processed foods are something that is different. Foods loaded with sugars, with chemicals, with unhealthy fats, all that nourish this bad bacteria in our gut which leads to a breakdown in the hormones that regulate weight and blood sugar. The research is clear on this. A diet full of processed foods promotes the growth of bacteria. These bacteria disrupt your body's natural hunger regulating systems. And one study from the Journal of Diabetes Research even found that diets high in sugar and fat promote the growth of a specific bacteria, which has been linked to insulin resistance and increased inflammation. We also have to consider how the medications that we take could be playing a significant role in interfering with the balance as well. Antibiotics, proton pump inhibitors, can mess with your gut bacteria, killing off the good ones and allowing the bad ones to thrive. This shifts the balance in a way that may prevent the body from producing the necessary hormones for appetite regulation. And it's not just about one pill here or there, chronic use could potentially be feeding the problem in a massive way. Here's another possibility. Some of us might be genetically predisposed to have higher levels of DPP-4 in our gut. This means our bodies naturally break down GLP-1s and similar hormones much more quickly. This makes it even harder to regulate appetite and insulin, even if we're trying our hardest and making the most healthy decisions that we can possibly make. GLP-1 drugs like Ozempic, Majaro, Wagovi, Zepbound, how do they help? Well, these medications work by mimicking those nutrient-stimulated hormones and helping your body to regulate things like appetite, insulin secretion, and the rate at which your body digests your food more effectively. 
For those struggling with hormonal dysregulation, these drugs are an absolute game changer. They reboot your body's natural system by bypassing this DPP-4. They're sort of impervious to being broken down by DPP-4. And it gives you now the fighting chance to get back in control of your weight and your health. Studies have shown that GLP-1 agonists lead to significant improvements in weight loss and insulin sensitivity. One study in JAMA found that people using semaglutide, which is the active ingredient in Ozempic, lost an average of 15% of their body weight in just over a year, or terzepatide, the active ingredient in Manjaro and Zepbound. People saw up to 22% uh, drop in their body weight in 72 weeks. This is more than just a quick fix. It's a hormonal fix that is addressing a real issue that people living with the diseases of type 2 diabetes, obesity, and metabolic dysfunction deal with on a daily basis. Multiple studies confirm that people that have type 2 diabetes and obesity have much higher levels of DPP-4, again, which breaks down the naturally occurring hormones in your body. This accelerates the breakdown of GLP-1, of GIP, and other incretin hormones. A recent study in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that DPP-4 levels are significantly higher in people with diabetes compared to those without, contributing directly to insulin resistance and poor metabolic control. Another study in Nature Medicine highlights how overactive DPP-4 is linked to increased fat storage and worsened obesity. If this is starting to make sense to you, if this is starting to click, share this video with someone else who's struggling because so many of us struggle with our weight in managing our type 2 diabetes, and we've been made to feel like lesser humans because of it. If you've ever felt criticized for your weight, or if you spent years feeling like your body is betraying you, you're not alone. Understanding how our gut microbiome and nutrient-stimulated hormones are working against us can change absolutely everything for people who are struggling. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Do you think hormones are to blame here? What do you think could be contributing to this hormonal dysregulation. Let's talk about it because we're gonna dive deeper in our future videos on how we can start to fix our gut microbiome and why it matters so much for metabolic health. But in the meantime, these medications are changing the game and you should not feel stigma or you should not feel biased for trying them out and seeing if they might just be the fix for you.